All right, here we go with lesson number 22. Adding complementary numbers with respect to 10 in the tens column. All right, so here we go. Let's just jump right into this, and it will probably make sense as we go. In fact, it'll probably be quite a bit easier than you think it will be. So let's start with the number 14 and add to it the number 6. So let's put 14 on our calculus. A 14 is a 1 and a 4. So there we have it, 14, and we are going to add to that the number 6. Well, we know that we need to new <laughs> we know that we need to use complementary numbers because when we go to put 6 in the ones column, we are out of beads. And so what do we do? When we're when we're out of beads, that's our that's our trigger to use the complementary numbers. And in this case, with respect to 10. So when we're adding, we subtract the complement. So here we go. Con uh, the complement to the number 6, if you've been studying your numbers, you're just going to know this right off the bat, and here we go, is the number 4. So that means we take away 4 and add 1 in the tens column. So even though you can probably do this in your head, the more you get used to using complementary numbers, the better off you're going to be. So 14 plus 6 is a 2 and a 0, 20. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do the number, let's do 12 plus 9. Clear your abacus. Let's put the number 12 on there. There is the number 12. And we are going to add to that the number 9. 12 plus 9. So I go to put 9 in the ones column, and I am out of beats. I already have 2 on there, so I can't add 9 to it. There's my trigger to use complementary numbers. The complement to the number 9 is 1. So when I'm adding, I subtract the complement. There we go. So I'm going to slide that beat away and add to it and add a number 1 in the tens column. So 12 plus 9 is 21. Now you're going you're gonna to start liking this in the next few lessons here. It's going to get more and more fun. Trust me. 12 plus 9 is 21. All right, let's do another one. 22 plus 18. 20. Oops. 22 plus the number 18. All right, so here we go. This one's a little more fun since we have a two-digit number that we're using. Yeah, that is the number that we're adding with. So we're going to start here in the tens column because an 18 is written a 1 and an 8. And remember when we're doing abacus, we start at the left and move our way right. Just like it, just as if you do, as if you're reading. When we're doing normal math, we start over here on the left hand side and work our way in that direction. In abacus world, we're going to start over here and work our way that way. So here we go. It's a lot of fun. 22 plus 18. We start with the number 1, because an 18 is written a 1 and an 8, and I slide that up there. All right. Now, the 8. Now we've got to put an 8 in the 1s column. And I go to do that. Oh, man, look at that. There are no not enough beads. What are, oh, yeah, complementary numbers. What's the complement to the number 8? complement to the number 8 is 2. So that means I'm going to take away 2 from that bead and add 1 in the next column over, which is the tens column. So 22 plus 18 is a 4 and a 0. 40. 22 plus 18 is 40. All right, this is getting fun. Let's do another one. All right, 16 plus 19, a 1 and a 6. There's the number 16, and we are going to add to that the number 19. So a 19 is written a 1 and a 9. So we start right here, and we are going to add 1 to the tens column. And then we need to add a 9 to the ones column. Oops, out of number, or out of beads. So what are we going to do? 
we are going to subtract the complement of 9, which is the number 1. So we're going to slide one bead away in the 1's column and add a bead in the 10's column. Simple as that. Now, don't, uh, you're, right now is where you can really start to see the beauty of the abacus. All you have to do is memorize these pairs. T t slide one bead away, put one bead away, put one over here, and th there it is. Your number just magically appears. 16 plus 19 is 35. All right, here we go. One more. Well, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a couple. So here, let's do a fun one, like 99. 99. And we are going to add to that the number... 10, 99 plus 10. Now that's a simple one. You math wizards can do this one in your head. But let's let the abacus figure it out for us. Give your brain a break, I guess. So, All right, the number 10 is written a 1 and a 0. So we need to put a 1 in the tens column. Oh, man, there are n we're maxed out here. We can't, put in we can't put another beat here. So that means we have to subtract the complement. So the complement to the number 1 is 9. So that means we just need to clear this column. Take away 9 and add 1 in the hundreds column. And there's a 0 in the ones column, so we don't have to do anything there. So 99 plus 10 is 100, a 1, a 0, and a 9. 109. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, in this last problem, you notice when we did the 90 and 9, and we added 1 here in the tens column, if you've done math in other places, you're probably used to the term carrying. When we added 1 here, we had to carry 1 over to here, and that's what's actually happening when we did that. We carried a 1 over into the hundreds column. So in this next problem, we're going to do one that involves multiple or more than one carry. Set the number 55 on your abacus. There it is, the number 55. And we are going to add to that the number 55. And let's see. All right, so we start here. We need to add 5 to this. Well, hmm, out of beads, we can't add another 5. So we are going to subtract the number 5, because the complement to the number 5 with respect to 10 is 5. So we take that 5 away, add 1 there. That's So this one's taken care of. And now we need to do the 1's column. We need to add 5 to that. Not enough beads. Subtract the complement and add 1 in the next column over, in the 10's column. And there you have it. Not much calculating you have to do in your head. Just read the abacus, which is, what's this number? A 1, a 1, and a 0. 55 plus 55 is 110. 110, 110. So there it is. Let's do one more like that. These are kind of fun. Let's do 8 plus 37. Here is the number 8, and we are going to add to that the number 37. Well, since an 8 technically already has zeros on this side of it and zeros that way, well, we, this is a 0, and we're going to add 0 plus 3 in the tens column. So here we go. All we have to do is just slide that up for the number 3. That column's a piece of cake. And over here, we go to add 7. Oh, no, not enough beads. That means I get to have some fun and add to that the number 7. We get to use complementary numbers. So the complement to the number 7 is the number 3. I'm going to subtract that complement and add 1 over here on the 1's column. So 8 plus 37 is 45. A 4 and a 5, 45. All right, we will do one more. And I think you'll have this because it's a piece of cake but a lot of fun. All right, here we go. So set the number 64 on your abacus, a 6 and a 4, 64. And we are going to add to that the number 26. 
64 plus 26. All right, we start in the tens column because we're starting on this side, right? And all we have to do is slide two beads up. We just added 20 to that. Now we need to add six. And over here in the ones column, we need to add six. Not enough beads. So that means we subtract the complement. We're taking the complement to the number six is four, isn't it? That's why I'm sliding these four beads down and I'm going to slide one up over here. And there's our answer. 64 plus 26 is a nine and a zero, 90. 64 plus 26 is 90. All right, that's all we're going to do in this lesson. I think you can get it from here. It's a piece of cake. We're getting into the fun stuff of the abacus. Where do we start subtracting? Oh, we can't wait for that. But we've got to do the hundreds column first. So go print off that worksheet. Work through the program work through the problems on the worksheet. And again, you know, this isn't, just do as many as you want till you feel like you really have a grasp of what's going on. It's not a requirement that you have to finish all the problems. It's a, what you want to do is really just get a feel for how the abacus works. So that's it. Go print off your worksheet, work through the problems, and get used to using complementary numbers with respect to the number 10.